can't be on the internet at all while this court case is going on. That's you what I, I do that. Well, I mean, it should. Well, you should come well, out all right. Up, well, I mean, up church is ass hurt. <laughs> I know I'm going to win this case. I'm going to win it, and that's all that matters. You ain't going to get over this, though, right? I was born in Music City and raised in a country song. I didn't know I lived in a country song until I found my love for music. And when I started writing songs, I realized that my childhood memories transitioned into fully painted pictures of the country through the artist's sound. I come from a place where marijuana leaves and American flags are spray painted on damn near every underpass. Where the longest straightaway in town is the midnight drag strip. And where the cornfields still harvest the lust of two young guns in a truck bed listening to the local radio station. <laughs> These songs aren't for everybody. They ain't gotta be for anybody, really. I'm having an issue with my stuff. Hold on just a second, guys. I don't know why these I'm having issues. All right, there we go. I think I finally got the uh, issue straightened out. Sorry for the long intro and the pictures you didn't probably want to see and that were random. How's everybody doing this evening? Don't worry about it, guys. It, it was a picture that shouldn't have went up there. I told you I was having issues. I was having issues with stuff. Um, Army, I'd like for you to be a mod unless you don't want to be. I, I, I've got to tell the story, obviously, about me and my ex. I'll refer to her as Kiska. Because frankly, it seems two years ago, somebody was talking about the Scientology stuff and uh, through people wishing to dox and further spread more misinformation or others' truth, as they call it, they found it. So let me just clear the stuff up. Oh, I started my rag. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Kidoki. Anyways, by the way, if you're a mod, there's a, oh, there's a rule on the last video, a rule list. I don't think I put it on this video. Because I was trying to reset my channel. I deleted everybody off the mods. I unblocked everybody. Mostly everybody. So. Anyways. Um, the story kind of abridged version is. I start out with this girl I meet. That I uh, lie about. Tell her I'm her age. Technically, I'm a little younger. Two years. And um, when I meet her, she is not long after coming out of uh, Memphis's place that's known as uh, Lakeside, which is a behavioral health center. Um, 
I don't know if it easily can be told, but by the gothic style that she has, that was her style. I, I, I didn't have anything against the style. You know, she wasn't expecting me to be some goth. And she wasn't really goth. She had her own unique type of style. And she was into a lot of different uh, philosophies and religions like I was studying them. You know, we didn't, we, we weren't people that just blindly accepted everything. We were, you know, we, we like to research things. That's one, one of the things we shared in common. It's one of the reasons why we got along so well a lot of the time that we did. I love how she characterizes the relationship as abuse because the abuse in the relationship came from when we were at Scientology. Separation, the, uh, well, we believe she really means this, even though she says that, because we, we've been trained with this sort of thing. Like, the whole reason that we got married and everything was because of Scientology's influence. Long story short, was that after we finished basic training and stuff, I didn't want to actually do it. If I knew after I was going to get done with training, I wasn't going to be able to stay with the person I was in love with. And so, and they asked, well, would I be willing to marry her? And I said, sure, but I doubt she's willing to get into any of that type of commitment. As we had talked about it before, you know, I think I had even basically eluded enough to her that, you know, I'm, I'd be the type to be ready to settle down. She wasn't. So, and she made it very clear to me back. She wasn't. Uh, and I let them know that. And they told me, well, why don't we talk to her and see? Next thing you know, yeah, she was ready to get married. So we went and we got married. I stayed at Scientology Sea Org for approximately about almost a full month. Probably not exactly a full month, just right at the cusp. And uh, I had gotten a hold of a phone, and one of the first things I had done was my grandparents told me it was a bad idea to begin with, so I didn't need or felt like calling them. I was going to, but I didn't want to call him first. I wanted to call her mom to let her know that I should have never told her about this place. Um, you know, we were wanting to, we were wanting to move forward with our lives and there's just not a lot to move forward with to do here. There's not a lot of opportunities where I live. It is you know, the only people that are something around here are either diesel mechanics, farmers, or the Mississippi barge workers, okay? They live in a very rural climate. Second of all, we were out of, you know, I wasn't working uh, as a caregiver at the time, even though that's what I normally was doing about the time I met her. I had been working for this paraplegic uh, client of mine. And uh, so what I ended up doing was I called the people that tried to recruit me when I was younger. I was in Nashville, and I told them that I had somebody I was with, and they got us out there. And they, they made it seem like it was all roses and peaches, cream and all that, and it wasn't. They, uh, after I decided I didn't want to be there anymore, they decided to label me how they label their people that start talking stuff they don't like. They call us suppressive persons. And anyone in Scientology cannot be connected to an SP. If they are, they're excommunicated and out of the church. So as soon as they started saying that I was acting aberrated and I'm either connected to an SP or an, I'm an SP myself, they kept my wife separate from me with other Sea Org members, staff, what have you. They, I was not allowed to see her, say goodbye to her, anything. Um, you know, and we were already living apart from one another during the whole time we were there because I was in men dorms and she was in women dorms. 
Well, as I was leaving, I was talking to her mom and letting her mom know that her mom, that she was choosing to stay and there was nothing that I could do about it. It was out of my hands. And uh, she made sure to tell me not to lie to her mom like I would. <laughs> I just told her mom the truth. You know, she wanted to stay. I knew the truth. The truth was she didn't manipulate to stay. Well, it took about a week and a week and a half. Two weeks later, she called and uh, Ian flew her back from Los Angeles. So, he answered me this. If she was that far away from me, got out of my hands. You now, Scientology was like right before the ending to our relationship, which happened in Nashville. So this is at the third quarter of our relationship, speaking as the timeline. If she'd been such an abusive relationship, how come here at the third quarter, instead of leaving, she comes on to another fourth quarter to spend time with me? Because the last quarter that I'll call it, of our relationship was after post-Scientology and then my idea as a friend offered us to move to Nashville to work for her or for his girlfriend's dad's cleaning business service, which we did. And uh, at this time around, she, um, she started hanging out with guys without me. Uh, she went out and hung out with a bunch of my friends and nothing but her bra and panties. And her excuse was she didn't have a swimsuit. Uh, I was being told that she was sneaking off and she cheating with somebody, but there wasn't no way to prove it directly. No evidence, you know, like I was just going through so much shit and being used that I, I confronted her about it. And they're like, okay, either you want her to leave or you want to leave or you want to reconcile. Me being the stupid, I guess, simp that I was at the time, I reconciled, and I decided to forget about it. Then next thing you know, Thanksgiving comes, and I had set some money aside in my car, and I knew exactly where it was, and I woke up. We were getting ready to go back home to Missouri for Thanksgiving. I was going to take her to see her family, and I was gonna, we were going to go see my family. Seemed like a perfect, normal day. Next thing you know, I'm starting to look around in my car and notice that, well, not only my money is gone, but a little nug of uh, loud I had saved was gone, too, which also didn't make any sense. So I went inside, and I thought for a second. And I thought that I was the last one to go to sleep. Or I was the first one to go to sleep. I mean. And so I went in there and I looked at her. And I looked at how she was sleeping still. And I was like, she must have went out there and just, I was like. So I woke her up and said, did you take my money? And she said, yeah, because I didn't want to wake you up. And I said, oh, I said. Well, I was saving that to get the car filled up and everything. And uh, she's like, well, I'm trying to go back to sleep. And I was like, you know, I asked her about something else and, and she didn't answer me. She was still asleep. So I said, well, I'm going to go into your purse and I'm going to get my money back. All right. That's all right with you. And boy, she said, no, don't do that. And I said, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to do that. I was like, uh, because... I mean, it, it was an ongoing thing, even though we were married. She didn't ever tell me something before she doesn't. And she always liked to use these excuses. And uh, so I told her, I was like, yeah, I was like, you took 50 bucks out of my car last night. I'm going to take 50 bucks out of your purse to replace it, please. She said, no, you're not. And I said, yes, I am. And then she said, got quiet. And as she watched me do it, and as I started, I heard her get up and say, fucking asshole. And then next thing you know, before I can turn around, boom, I get hit in the back of the head. And I went down, and by that time, Muhammad came out, and 
had was backing her up away from me, and I just got up and I just. And then the dad came in there. He said, what's going on? I said, oh, she just hit me. And they're like, oh, well, did you hit her? I'm like, no, I didn't even have a chance, nor would I. She hit me in the back of the head, made me literally go down to the ground, just like how I hit my brother in the back of the head one time. And uh, where your soft spot is. And I told him, I said, uh, they told me to get my stuff and leave. I wouldn't welcome there i got my stuff i left and then two weeks later they were calling me back apologizing and asking if i would come get her of which her mom called me and informed me of and asked if i needed any money and i said no she's my wife i'll go get her i went i got her she cried when she first got in the car and i helped her get her stuff and we sat and relaxed we started to seem to like we were getting along, making up. She even wanted to stay in a mo- in a hotel that night, and we had sex. Then the next morning, we get up, and she premeditatively had this all planned. We get to her mom's house. As soon as she gets to her mom's, to quote, grab some stuff, unload some stuff. She closes the door, and she says, "You don't think your mom didn't tell me what you told her about Nashville?" And what she was mad about was the fact I told her mom the truth of how she acted. She said, I don't ever want to see you, blah, 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 again. She said, thanks for the ride, dickhead. And uh, that just broke my heart. I couldn't do anything but break down and and just, I just, uh, she destroyed me after that. She literally fucking destroyed my self-confidence, my trust of women, anything I thought I had, like, because she was a one in a million person, just like anyone is, but she was really unique. And even though she caused me a lot of pain, heartache, and grief, there still will be always a place in my heart for her. Regardless of what Stories she tries to say because Scientology has been graining, gaining traction the last few years and becoming more of a story. So I guess the reason why she made that recording in 2020 is because of all the new ABC 2020 series and uh, Leah Remini's uh, stuff on Scientology and the, and the documentary series. All that came out. So, yeah. So, hey, Jarek, I see you're here. I'm done with my, uh, yeah, she was abusive. She was abusive, manipulative, manipulative, as in the the way she was able to control me because she knew that I was easily controllable by emotions and just by the simple emotion that I loved her. Like I literally would do anything for her. I, you know, her dad was abusive to her and she was on antipsychotics and these medicines for stuff she didn't think she really needed and one of them was um, was Prozac and I got her off all those medications every single one had her flush them down the toilet No, I'm not going to have kids. That's another thing. She didn't want to have kids. She did not want to have kids, which tells me in the retrospect, she wasn't going to ever planning on settling down with me. So if y'all want to believe anything she says, go right ahead. That's the story of the nutshell. I ain't got nothing else to say on her. I wish her well. And uh, she's definitely getting divorced now. You just might have. Who knows? Hell, something may happen to me in three months. Who knows? You may have just messed up your chances for uh, starting your own business or something. Kayla, that's all right. You want to talk that shit? You want to, you know, whatever. Here
together a year and a half. So jar wreck. If you come up on the panel or somebody, I'd appreciate it. I need somebody to talk to. <coughs> if not, I guess I'm going to find another YouTube community. I've been talking to one other person and <coughs> another person in this community that has been watching very closely the stuff going on. They don't like it. And they say that, well, yeah, it's coming from different YouTubers. I mean, it doesn't take a brain scientist to figure out that some of them talk offline, you know. Yeah, oh, I can't prove it, sure. Of course I can't fucking prove it. Hell, I'd have to fucking be in their physical presence and see the shit and take a photo of it or something. Or somebody else would have to screenshot it and send it to me because they want to fucking bust the person you know that ain't ever gonna happen so i always seem like a crazy person that's fine i don't give no shit yeah don't say your name please uh don't don't say your name i i shouldn't have even said her, her first name Good thing it's a common first name. I hope she's doing well today. Last person I heard she's with over here in Crothersville, hell, he's done got him another wife and just got her pregnant and everything else. I'm telling you guys, she. She's the type of woman that she does, she doesn't want to have kids and she wants to find the man that will worship and love her for exactly who she is without having to change or compromise at all. And once she finds him, she's going to stink her teeth in June. I'm not saying women are like that or nothing. I'm just saying that's exactly her modus operandi, I guarantee you. Turn the other cheek. Oh, yeah, because I guarantee you if I got some of these people channels, if I got some of their exes on what they would say about them. You know, I'm being threatened. You know, don't don't say my name, bro. Don't talk about my name. I won't say nothing else to you. I tried to help you, bro. Bro, if you tried to help me, you would have never made a video. Hell, you would have fucking actively tried to keep me from making videos or something. You wouldn't have done what you done. No, I, I, I don't. I want a person that's not or somebody, you know, I got to get to learn. You know, I want a real authentic relationship. The type of relationship she wants isn't you're never going to find, you know? That's why she's been with more people than I can count on two fans since me. I'm turning the other cheek. I'm done talking about her. I could explain a lot. I could say how she, you know, stole our family automobile without asking and all types of other things. Hell, shit that she could have gotten fucking hemmed up with a charge for if I didn't love her, you know. But she did all sorts of things to try to go around my back. But she, she ain't ever going to tell y'all about none of those instances, is she? She only actually hit me, hit me, and slapped me around just a few times. But every time she did, I told her I was going out to the car for a smoke. At the end of that smoke, if she wasn't out there and she wasn't 
wanting to talk or fix things over and apologize, I'd leave. And I would do that exactly every single time. Because I am not going to be the one to get slapped. And I'm definitely not the type to... Those are the situations like in school, I was taught to run away from bullies. And then my dad also oppositely taught me to stand up and fight back. Well, when it came to, I knew women, it don't matter even if they start hitting you or whatever, get the fuck out of there. That's exactly what I would do. Hello, Mia. Yeah, but because some people on here on YouTube have really disrespected uh, my fraternity and stuff, I'm never speaking on it again in the future. It's nobody's business. Uh, you know, it's just it's ridiculous. Uh, some of the shit that I've experienced. Yes, it was necessary, though, huh? I don't know about us. We both say the same thing. She doesn't tell the truth about Scientology being the one that mind controlled her to end up getting married. Married. Because I wasn't even sure I'm getting married either. So I don't care what my still married past soon to be ex-wife says because you know what if I really hated her or was the type of guy that she said I was I wouldn't have given her her stuff out of our storage before we got rid of it I wouldn't have reached out to not her but her sister very politely and told her and warned her because people were talking about wanting to find her weeks ago. I sent that message. I never got a reply back, uh, and I blocked her sister. You know, I understand her sister and them probably because of her, you know, they don't want to interact with me. That's fine. They have that freedom, and I don't you know, want them or me or anyone to never have that freedom of association. But just know, Kiska, that you, I've always, you know that I've always told you that I wanted you to succeed. You were on the brink of drinking yourself become a hardcore alcohol addict when I met you. While we were talking, you slept with somebody that I knew. Paul let him basically take advantage of you since the fact you were drunk and you just said to me, well, I apparently I asked for it, so I got it. And I should have, I should have never, I shouldn't have continued our relationship there. I should have just dropped you right then and there. But I didn't. But I didn't. You remember that. Because I guarantee you, your life would be significantly different had that pathway right there, just that one little pathway in life got changed. I took you to Nashville. I took you to Los Angeles. I tried to get you out of this shithole that we come from. I tried to get you off your medicines you were taking. That was before I even realized that I would need medicines in my life. I was so young. That's what surprises me about people. That this was so long ago, you would think that with as long as social media and stuff has been out, the story would have already been came out and told long ago. 
or if some of this quote unquote abuse had happened that she wouldn't have ever been able to get in touch with anybody considering the fact that she always a phone I don't know what this shit about not having a phone is. Hell, we have a house phone. We had this same house phone when she lived with us. So that was complete bullshit. She always had access to phones, computers, everything. She was not the least bit controlled or abused at any way. So y'all can believe what you want to believe. Now I'm going to get into the chat and see if anybody wants to come up and we do a channel together. Or whatever. Uh, my addictions with marijuana had already started at that time. But uh, no, my main addiction didn't start until way after my marriage got separated. Techn technically, my marriage is the end. It's not ended yet. But I am separated from her. So, uh, yeah, that happened after I was separated wacky. Me and no, you're not blocked. I, I didn't leave you blocked. I'm just not going to get on to the same type of conversation about spirituality and religious with you again. That's all. Uh, the link at the top should work. If you're a, a little motherfucking king of the kills watching or if Herbal's watching, if y'all want to come up, I'd appreciate it. I, I hope I'm at least still cool with you guys. I don't know who I'm cool and not cool with right now oh i gotta tell you what that, that's fine I, I guess i need to re-release that michael uh that mike no life mike video you know that dude told me to fucking kill myself and then you gonna have uh yeah i saw you looking at her mike you, you couldn't believe that old square could actually get a good looking woman did you <laughs> I promise you, it didn't have anything to do with the ten and a half. It had to do with my mind, my looks, my show of, uh, you know, like I, I'm very old school when it comes to going out on dates and stuff. See, what a lot of people don't get is that that relationship taught me the most to know about a relationship than I ever would have thought when I was in it. Oh, he said, don't jump. Well, still, he was implying it. And you guys love to argue semantics, Reekin. It's the same fucking difference. You know, no life, Mike. He had zero, zero reason. I mean, I uh, don't even get started. I'm not going to talk about him. I'm not. All he is is he just likes to watch different content. He'll watch one person's content and immediately the next thing he'll watch is the opposite type of content that'll go against that person, you know. He does that shit so when the people's content that he watches sees his videos, if they ever do, you know, they're going to get fucking up, up, upset, obviously. You know, and he's just laughing, having a good old fucking time, you know. That's cool. Hey, if that's how you make your content, that's how you do it. I, I'm not criticizing him. I'm not criticizing anybody. Uh, I took it as what I took it that, that it meant that. You know, I didn't take it that he was going to say it directly because he's in a video, man. You know, if he were to say that directly in a video. That's the type of shit that could get uh, somebody, you know, especially if they believed in cancel culture, which I don't. I just believe in people acting fucking decent. But anyways, 
uh, you know, that could get him canceled. So, of course, he didn't say it in those exact ways. But whether he said it that way or another way, it implies the exact same very thing he said or alluded to. Does it not? Does it not get the mind thought on it? Yes, it does. Okay. Point made. Done. I would have never taken us to the Church of Scientology. I would have, we would have went a different direction. I probably also would have at the first time that I thought she was tired and ready to move on and wasn't ready to settle down, I would have just accepted it instead of fight for but I fought for, and when I say fought for, I mean, you know, like I poured my heart out for her affection, told her how I felt, how she would, you know, that I couldn't believe I'd met her. And we shared some amazing times together. We really did. But uh, in the end, we weren't meant to last. She even, I remember, said some shit like, she thinks that we'll be together at another time or whatever. Okay. All I know is I was willing and settled down to give her my all. And I would have never cheated nor wavered in any duty I had to her. And she wasn't ready for that. Or at least she wasn't ready for that from the type of guy. Only she knows. Oh, they allowed us to sleep together before we were actually um, basically formally uh, put in the Sea Org. We had a, a weekend together, but um, yeah, that was one of the things of why we got married was because after we got done, we would still be living in big ass rooms of 20 plus same gender people. And these small, I'm talking, you talk about these small barracks, man. The, these are some small rooms that have bunk stacked uh, one, four high. They're like you know, four people to a whole bunk. You got a bunk, a bunk, a bunk, a bunk, and then a ladder at the end that goes all the way to the top. And it, you know, it's just crazy. And uh, I, I when I, when they were telling us how it all was like, I was like, "Do you really want to be here and not have our own room?" She said, "No." And I'm like, "Well, I didn't think about getting married so soon." And she was like, "I don't." I don't not sure sure we should get married and I said yeah I don't think so either I said but uh let's I said and so I, I at that point I was not willing to want to stay or care to stay and we explained to them why and that you know we hadn't been dating too long you know at the time when we came there and uh they took her out of the room and another them took me out of the room. Next thing you know, we were getting married. Like I said, these people are very good at getting you to change your mind. That's how they're able to get people to donate so much money in one sitting. No, it's not like jail. It's a lot different than that. It's just that you're in a room of, uh, say, 20, 25 people, you know. And uh, there's only enough room to get in there, put your stuff away and have your hammock or your bunk that you get on to sleep in. That's it. We were on like the, you know, 14th, 15th, 16th floor, whatever. I mean, that was a big skyscraper. That was a big building. The big blue building is the building that we stayed in, did most of our training at. It goes underground, even.
Well, during the basic training, my wife wasn't there. I mean, not it, so we didn't get to sleep. And, you know, I was in an all male dorm. She was in an all female. But the part, the reason why we got married was so that after the training, we would get our own room, being that we were a married couple. But, you know, you only got your own room if you came in as a married couple, which is one of the reasons why they talked us into marriage. Well, it, it, it's not spacious like a dorm, but basically, yes, a big, very crowded dorm. I wouldn't even call it a dorm. You got like nothing but beds in there and maybe a couple closets and spaces to put luggage down underneath the bed and stuff. That's it. I mean, it is very fucking packed. Very, very packed. Not, uh, n not that, uh, not unless they've got like a, like they they come across a homeless person that's got a real big intellect or something. And like, depending upon how he passes on their test. Yeah, it was uncomfortably cramped. So <laughs> it's not like, you know. I was gung ho wanting to stay and said, but we can't stay unless you get married. No, 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 no. That's not how it went down. We, I told her, I said that, you know, I'd be willing to be married because I loved you. And I'm not going to lie. She was hesitant. I said, but you're hesitant. She said, it's not that. So I took it to mean she's not hesitant because she doesn't love me. She just hesitant on getting married. Hell, I was too. But still, if we were going to do this, definitely wanted to do it with her. So we got married. This whole stick about, I think I'd heard in a video something about she wasn't allowed to have a cell phone. That's such bullshit if that claim is made. I may be wrong, but if, if a claim's ever made that she didn't have a phone, that is complete and utter horseshit. Complete horse. She had a freaking laptop, even a mine that she could use and everything. I was 19, she was 21. She was two years older than me. And she had a bad drinking habit. And um, I didn't, you know, she would like to go to. She'd sometimes want to try to go to bed, like, and she'd be drunk. And I told her, you know, I, I don't feel right. Like, I was completely sober at the time, like, other than maybe smoking some grass. And I told her, I said, I, I don't feel right about that. I was like, she was like, why? I was like, because you're drunk. Uh, I'm not. You know, so I literally, a lot of the times, would get myself tipsy at least you know because I, I didn't want to you know and I felt like I don't you know fuck that shit I just don't like that shit I just don't like the fact that my marriage life and everything in my young past just came out on YouTube because people didn't like me speaking out or speaking out and saying things that maybe were wrong at first and inaccurate. Oh, boo fucking who. Too wrong or don't make a right.
my favorite memory with her would be when we were on the plane or when we were together at her parents house while they were divorcing and had the house to ourselves those were some of the most down honest close to home simple but very close warm times we spent together I hope you're doing all right today, Kayla. I hope you're doing better. Better than me. for a paraplegic person most of the time, Wacky, but I don't, I don't want to talk about uh, that anymore. I'm not coming over to the swamps or PD or whatever can try to it's, it's not going to make me happy especially people impersonate me I guess nobody watched my video of Triple T's wife I hate admitting it but it's true y'all are wrong even though I am 29 I'm not that age in my social mature aspect in my mind and you guys that keep attacking me and bringing all of this, my personal life to front it's just you don't realize it but it, it's torturing me you don't care none of you do been separated now for nine years so if that first audio was from 2020 she waited seven years before she said anything about it which like I said correlates with the time Scientology started becoming trending in the news and the videos on No Life Mike I don't know when them are but Something tells me those aren't too long ago either. No, I pretty much, we didn't get that far up into the uh, courses and stuff to need that, Mia. It's, it's been easy to forget and 
D shed. But that's not to say there aren't some things of the Scientology faith aspect, a part of it, like with the traumatic and reactive mind and stuff like that. That is exactly correct with dealing with trauma and stuff. I believe Kiska even talked about it. Exactly, stoner donor. Of course, somebody else where they think it's me. I've been accused of being so, so many alt accounts, it's not funny. Hell, I can start off with the real deal. Uh, then I can start off with uh, the mystic, whoever the fuck that is, or made that account. Then I can start off with stoner donor. Uh, I can start off with another one that was called... Uh, uh, Jane, uh, Boot Hill Junkyard. Yeah, that's what it was. Boot Hill Junkyard. I'm, I'm not any of those accounts, okay? None. That's stupid. Boot Hill Junkyard, yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Yeah, we get trolled and stalked when we do speak out. That's exactly right. And that's exactly what started happening to me. I had people that didn't even know. Well, they knew uh, who the person was they used to threaten me with. And I talked to him all this time before he made any videos of me. You know... There was never any reason, regardless of what happened on YouTube, like, you're not YouTube police, you know, but he did, and, and I knew after that, that would make an incentive or a monkey see, monkey do type attitude, and that's exactly what happened. Other people followed along suit. And so they can say they're unconnected, there's no conspiracy, whatever. Yeah, I believe it. Probably is true. It probably is a case of I do and do and copy what he does. But nonetheless, you all condoned it and were a part of it. So take that and stick it where the sun don't shine. I am Squareworks Media Archive, but it's changed its name to Variety. That account and my uh, YouTube seer is the only account that I uh, there. Oh no, there's one other, uh, the Monkey Pox. Uh, but I, I, you know, I, I don't use that one anyone anywhere. You know, and I had only created that because of Black Pox. That's all. So I guess technically I do have four. I think sometimes I said three, and that's what got people to think I was lying. Go ahead, Katana. Who cares? What is it? No, no, I, I, they're they're not looking for us. It, if they could find us, if they wanted to, I, I didn't stay there long enough. To get a freeloader's bill, that's what made, you know, their whole shit bullshit about, or uh, that's what made MC shit bullshit, the fact that he said, you owe them a freeloader's bill, so I fall under scammer. No, I don't, MC, since I was there for not even almost a full month. Just barely almost a full month. I don't owe them a damn thing. It was covered with me before I left. So you can take, because I worked each week. Don't you understand? They make you do manual labor over eight hours of the day. Hell, luckily at that time, I haven't had all my, uh, yeah, that's the name of it, Wacky Jackie. And I changed it from archives to that. 
But yeah, they make they made us do menial labor plus ten hours of the day. Luckily, back then I was still young enough and hadn't had all my accidents and stuff, and I was able to to make it through that work. I couldn't do that shit today, not at all. Yeah, I'm not square. I don't know if they stalk us. If they leave. if they do it, they do it without us knowing. No, I, I got to, I mean, I met some people that were famous as in up in the ranks, but I think I did see, um, I did get to see um, the uh, cousin of, uh, what's his name? Oh, he's on trial right now. Uh, Danny Masterson. Um, I had asked who that guy was one day to one of the uh, Sea Org people higher up than me uh, that was taking me to counseling or to auditing, I mean, and uh, their form of counseling, auditing. And uh, I asked who that guy was. He had a lot of people around him. He said, That's uh, he said, You know, the guy from that 70s show, Danny Masterson? I said, Yeah, he said, That's his cousin. I don't know. They've got her on a compound where she's hidden, obviously, because they cannot get anyone to show her. They can't. Like, I think it's crazy how they cannot make David Miscavige allow his wife to be seen. Every time somebody is reported or missing, uh, the police get to the part where they find somebody that reaches out and calls the right number. And I guess they technically do get her on the phone or they get a recording or something. And uh, because of them on the phone saying they're fine and they don't want to be seen or talk to nobody. They can't do anything about it. I shit you not. She's not been visible in the regular world for I don't know how long now. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think anybody's still alive that's quote unquote missing. I like to always hold out hope because I couldn't imagine if, I, if it was my loved one. That's why I got so hurt, because even though that, yeah, me and Taylor are, o are over and stuff, she still loved one of mine. And, you know, to have it paraded through this community and stuff, you know, and, and that's exactly, and I got threatened with that the day that I exploded on Saturday and then it got released on Saturday. I mean, come on. And then No Live Mike immediately found those clips from whatever. Like, come on now. Like, I, I was born at night, but it wasn't fucking last night. That's cool. That's all right. I'm going to do exactly what Rick the Chick Sanchez told me to do. I don't have anything left of mine of value to want. I let all the stuff that she had just let her get. And uh, I'm just done with it. I know she's very pretty. She was beautiful to me, I thought. But her personality wasn't the actions she chose to do wasn't she hurt me very much she hurt me very very much and all I wanted to try to do was to uh, be your other half You know, to be uh, called words like narcissist and uh, manipulative and 
things of that nature. You know, I, I find it so funny because of all the time I've spent in drug counseling and then uh, psychiatric evaluation. Like, if I had any sense of an antisocial personality disorder or narcissism or whatever, it would have been picked up by the diagnostic material, which Scientology is so against. See, that's why I never saw a psychiatrist yet until after the moment that I almost tried to take my life in 2019. Now, the next year... She's probably unaware of all this. That's how untouched from my life she's been. Not that I've been keeping up with anything of her life. Because I just, the only thing I've ever done was I tried to look her up on Facebook to send her a message. Couldn't find her. That's it. You know, hearing that audio where she said I probably scour every social platform. Like, to get a life. Like, I, I don't even have that much time to do that for people. I'm trying to figure out who the identity they are. Much less worry about you. Like, I mean, she wasn't even ever going to admit that she cheated on me. And I knew she did. So the fact that I was going to be willing to let that slide and continue on and she wouldn't even give me the, the right thing of at least admitting to the truth. I mean, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say or do or prove to her. Um, you know, my dad asked me about... <clears throat> Over a year ago, he asked me, why haven't I been divorced yet? And I said, because, Dad, if something does happen to me, you know, I don't want, and y'all can think of this however you want it, but I just, I wouldn't want my brother getting any money. I would want it to go to my wife in the hopes that she would use it. In, in a good way and get out of whatever crap situation that she could possibly be in. She may be doing completely well for herself, and I hope she is. And, and we all think she's, she's beautiful. Uh, She's beautiful and can be nice when she wants to be. But she has a very selfish side to her. She is very sensitive. That's why she doesn't mind making, and she'll never make nothing more than audios or videos showing herself talking because, I, you know, I, I just, she wouldn't come on a panel. <laughs> Uh, she just she's not that type like I know everything about her she knows that I taught her a whole bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to share here on YouTube but I don't want to share even more so now because of the fact that she could now be possibly on here you know and that may seem fucked up but the reason being had to be was she got to learn a lot of it when she was with me, and I didn't even have the uh, the book that I have now until after I had my wreck, which was years after she she and I split. And so I'm not going to just give that all freely away, the spiritual info that I have, because the shit that I have is from an ancient indigenous African culture. And I can tell you now, she, yeah, she's the beneficiary. Jackie, that would be a duh, yeah, but that's another reason also why I stay married, too. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but I bet you, though, she would say the reverse about me. She probably would say that I'm not. Yeah, she's the past, exactly. I, I appreciate your comment, Wacky, but you don't understand. She's the she's 
she's the type of girl that after she uh, sucks what she sucks out of a guy, she's she's done with him. She throws him out. Hey, straight shooting. Uh, I, I might give you a call. I'm sorry. I've had to take some time to myself. There's been a lot of bullshit going on. People like getting people's family and uh, soon-to-be ex-wives uh, out and everything else. And uh, I even intuitively felt it was coming Saturday. Uh, and I call it out before it happens. That way, thinking, well, if they do it now, then they're going to automatically prove I was right. And what do you know? Less than 12, 24 hours later, it's come out. And I, and I don't get the person doing it like, you know, I, I don't get it. I ain't trying to talk about that. Though. Great shooting. I'd still like to do the mental health recovery streams with you. Uh, the reckoning, you will be out of here. I didn't say it was all her fault. No, my fault was my immaturity and stuff, but I'm not. Uh, my fault was uh, seeking out us going to Scientology. Uh, I, there's a lot of faults I had in the relationship, but um, you're not going to be allowed on my channel because I have an idea of who you are on here for or who you might possibly be based on what somebody told me. So I do not want you on my channel. Nobody, I'm not, anybody that gets hidden by me, all mods, please know the mod rule is you do not unhide them. And anything else, if you need to know what the rules are, please refer to the previous video's description or previous live's description. I, I know you're not, man. I just couldn't answer the phone the other day when you called, okay? I, I didn't want you to think I was trying to be a dick. I just. I had to be alone. Like I just, I couldn't talk to anybody. Sometimes you get like that. My my ex wife, soon to be ex wife, used to get like that. And back when I was nineteen, I never understood it. And I would try to keep talking to her, and it make things worse. That was another fault of mine. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, you know, I understand it now. Sometimes people just need time to themselves. Uh, celebrities join it because they have something to offer them. That's something to do. It's a, there's a win-win relationship there. Whereas somebody like my soon-to-be ex or me and regular people, you know, they specifically find whatever we're really good at and they'll use and exploit that to become what Scientology gets out of the deal. But, I mean, we really don't offer as much as a celebrity would. That's why they're so ready to, to defend their celebrities. Uh, Scientology, I mean, Danny Masterson's full of uh, lawyers that are hired by Scientology, if not are Scientology lawyers, over this supposed uh, rape case that he's got going on. And I can't believe it. Like, I, 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 I didn't even know he was... Like, when they told me that name back in the Sea Org, I probably didn't realize... Well, they said that 70 shows. Uh, who knows? Maybe I pictured Kelso. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Hyde now. It's Hyde. And uh, I, I couldn't believe it. Well, we don't know anything about... Um, the spaceship or alien stuff that gets into the upper levels. We never got to that. All we have is we've heard about it like y'all have. So we never experienced that. 
Uh, hello, Corbin Black. I'm. Yes, I'm doing as good as a person can be doing. I don't know. No, I can't see T. Damlin, Patrick, Jeff Code. I can't. I don't know why, but I unblocked her because she said that she never had nothing against me. So I, I made sure she was unblocked. I don't know what it is between her and the real deal. They're not blocked. Seriously? No. No, I don't think so. I did not. So, you're going to run with whatever she says. That's fine. But you're not going to ask me that. I don't have to answer you. I already did. Uh, I was going to be working probably as an auditor, but I didn't get through. We didn't get through any of the basic training or anything before I left. I left and then she stayed a little bit longer and she left, but we both still didn't get through the, the, uh, preliminary part. If you want to call it that. Physically abused my bunch of bullshit dude oh I suppose that's funny why did I leave Because I knew that it was not what I was looking for. It did not align with my true values. I realized what we were being used for, and that was mostly for labor, at the hope that you might get to learn some of this great information if you have time. But you got to go by everything they say. We were slaves. We were in a cult. That's why. It's called the Estates Project Force, and it's basically when you learn the basics of Scientology while the and you study uh, coursework, preliminary coursework, while the other part of the, your day you're working all the time besides eating, going to the bathroom, and then going to bed. That is called the Estates Project Force. It's sort of like basic training. You have to run places. You have to get in formation, et cetera. You have to wear a uniform, all that type of stuff. That's what it is, Mia. An auditor listens. That's what an auditing an auditor does by definition. They listen to the person that they're talking to, and they ask questions that delve into their past or their traumatic memories that might be holding them back in life. Yes, I did, Iceland's probation officer. The appeal of some of the coursework, some of the things I was able to learn in there through friends of mine, they showed me books and they let me read materials before I ever contacted it. And it seemed to make sense and things seemed to click. And I thought I was catching on to something here and I felt that I should continue. Uh, because if I didn't continue, I felt like that I would be missing out. And uh, I was at that point in my life where I didn't want to pass up on anything and, you know, get stuck with something less. Oh, my God. Who keeps on hiding Turtle King? Masons are not a cult. If you're going to say that, then you might as well say every organization, including uh the fraternal order of the police 
including your religion and my religion, a cult also. Cult is, is, an, is an organization that does evil activity. If anybody unhides this Turtle King guy again, I swear to God, and I catch it, like, Ten and a half pincher, what are you doing? Uh huh. I knew there was something wrong with that. Well, Guarantee that won't happen now, Mr. Ten and a Half Incher. Trying to make people mods and shit. Dude, fuck that. You know what? I'm blocking you. Obviously, I don't have a ten and a half inch. So just shut the fuck up and sleep. Is the UMWA? I don't know what that is. Yes, they kept my wife there when I wanted to leave. They had people manipulate her to keep her there. They might, Mia, if you're if you got put on the uh, rehabilitation project force, which is a step under the EPF, they might hoard food. That's exactly right. That's what I heard. Exactly. Not only did they bring me and Cam, me and Kiska to marriage, they inevitably tore it apart by the way they did us. Well, technically, a cult is a group of people uh, gathered together for a common goal or achievement, you know. That's what the definition is by, you know, but when the word cult is used, it usually means derogatory. Like, here, let me look it up for you exactly. A cult, a, uh, a small group of people having beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange. A misplaced or excessive, excessive administration and, admira and admiration for a particular person or thing. Uh, the basic, uh, in modern English, cult is a social group that is defined by its unusual religious, spiritual, or philosophical beliefs or its common interest in a particular personality, object, or goal. Uh, but it's What's also a system. It, but in the regular thing, it's a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. And that figure would be L. Ron Hubbard. Hey, Arbol, what's going on? You're on Square Work Media. How you doing, bud? I want to know how come you're going to talk about fucking Scientology tonight, but last night when I wanted to talk about it, you wouldn't. Well, I just started to talk about it. You know, I told you to come on here. I figured you were watching. So I want to learn about Planet Xenu. Well, I can't teach about it. I never got up to that area or learned anything about it besides what you probably have learned on the internet. I haven't learned that much. It's nothing, dude. It, it's just bullshit. It's space opera. It's a lie. <laughs> That's what it is. 
So, you seem a little down in the dumps oh. today. Yeah, I am. What's the matter, big guy? Everything these people have done to me, and then I react back, and then that perfect storm. You know, there's a hurricane named Ian right now. Yeah, That's it's probably going to be a dud. Still well, there? I didn't perp. Yeah, I'm here. Damn. You ever hear of a pause? You're a little slow today. Or am I a little fast? No. Well, you know, I've taken my medicine. That medicine fucks you up, man. You need to get off that stuff. No, I don't. Because if I didn't have it, it'd be worse. All drugs have side effects. I didn't mean to interrupt your stream here. Let's keep going, chat. Well, we're, where were we? We was talking about Xenu and stuff, right? No. I was talking about why all these no. people, why all these people continue to to want to make content out of my old stuff and my fourteen year old dancing videos, and then that filthy animal dude talking about, oh, you, you go, you deserve a special place in hell. What you put your grandpa through, all those videos he had shown, and all the times where I've reacted or got angry, my grandfather wasn't here. What the hell are they fucking talking about? They act like that every time I've uh, had an issue on live or whatever, a nervous breakdown. I, I don't, otherwise, they're fucking alleging something else. I don't fucking know. But Does it put stress on your grandpa? Wanted, no, what puts stress on my grandpa is the people that's been calling my phone and that's called my dad and stepmom, which I think has to do with Mr. Fusion, I don't know for sure. It's just a theory, so don't fucking come at me, bro. But, you know, I mean, it's a little odd. He, he had my number. He made me believe he was down here. I go outside, and then he goes, oh, it's a troll, bro. Okay, and then just recently. How did he here, get your number? Uh, because people have shared it all on YouTube. Um, not only that, uh, um, called me a faggot too. And then now oh, he's get over that. that. I heard you say that three times this week. Get over I'm it. Not get, I'm not getting over it because he's literally talking about Xanime and what Ryan Upchurch called her. He ain't got no business uh, talking or, you know, anything about. He's been such a hypocritical asshole. He is not a fucking friend of mine. He's never even been a buddy, but he pretended to be. And just like fucking Triple T's wife said, he used me for his dirty work, and now I'm his fucking cannon fodder. I don't appreciate that shit. Hell, Zenu. Hell, Yeah, Zenu. exactly. Exactly what? Can't block numbers on a house phone. At least not these we can. How did they get your house phone number in the first place? Oh, I don't know. Because a I would imagine a YouTuber released it. A YouTuber I thought I could trust. For one, Square, you can't well, trust nobody on YouTube. Well, that 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 to me right there, whatever. That that doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. I'm sure she views all that as harmless trolling that uh, I've got paid for or something. I guarantee that. See, that that's she the problem with the social media stuff. in general, Square. It's all for clout. People are going to stab Ain't you in no the back. Clout. 
Ain't nobody over here trying to get any fucking clout. So they don't even need to fucking talk about it. You got used for clout, son. Straight up. Well, thanks a fucking lot, Herbal. You always make me feel a lot better. I'm... Asshole. I mean, for real, like, why do you do this shit? You're supposed to be a friend. You don't act like a friend. Though. I'm honest with you, ain't I? Uh, let's see. I don't know about that. What do you mean? Hold on, let me move this. Wait, hold, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. There we go. I asked Sorry. a tough question, Square. No. Yeah, I do. I go easy on you a lot. Uh, oh, it's always been that way, Square. Oh, it's always been that way. Well, I don't see any of you other big channels like you're uh, making videos on your ex's friends or having them come on or showing any of their content. Or any, like, I, I don't see any of that bullshit going on from nobody else except me. Evidently, you ain't looking hard enough. That shit goes oh, on okay. every day. I'm talking about the people in particular that have been messing with me. You can't do anything about those people. Do you not understand that? Oh, I can do something. The only thing I you can, can do, actually do a bunch of things. Is move the fuck on. I can do a lot of things. That's where you're wrong. It's like talking to a brick wall. What does this dude want? What dude? Your buddy. Which buddy? What up? Herbal, what up? Square? What's up, Seth? Not much. Hey. What, are doing? what are you down about? We're having a heart to heart. Oh, we're here having a heart to heart. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's okay. I'm, I'll sit here and be quiet. It's... They have no heart to heart. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Ask people in the chat was we having a heart to heart? Sounds like a heart to heart. I was trying to direct it. was a heart to heart. I swear. No, it's just a bunch of bullshit. That's all it is. Ain't no worry about the bullshit. Oh, there goes my dog. Speaking of bullshit. No. Uh, no, I was bullshit square. You're doing good. Don't don't let the bullshit get you down. There's bullshit oh. everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, don't don't worry about being falsely accused and shit, you know. MC Lomahawk said he loves you square. Fuck that motherfucker. Tell his ass to tell his ass to bring his ass to Missouri. MP said <laughs> He, he also told you they sent me a message for you. you want to hear it or no? No, I don't. I don't give a fuck what that it. motherfucker says. No, he girl? said he he he's, he's talked about my dead best friend. He he no, he's he wasn't. No, talked wasn't. About, he's, no, wasn't. He's, he's talked about my grandma. He's talked about my dog. He's talked about all types of shit. I've heard it with my own fucking ears. So do not. You can't trust people on the internet, Square. No, no I can't trust y'all. What does that mean? What did I MC, do? I'm honest with you. you. MC, you bring your ass on up here to Missouri, bro. You bring your ass up here, and you better bring that That's little right, wood paint. You hear that? Hey, Lama Hawk, he said bring your ass up to Missouri. I got, I'm in my life over here. I just stepped into your life. So I can send play messages if you want me to. Shots fired. Drat, drat. <laughs> Uh, did you just throw him off? Yeah, that I did. Very hard. So much oh, for I wouldn't really hear the. 
what about the blah, blah, Petey said blah, blah. They ain't nothing but over here to fuck with me, dude. And either you're yeah, going to you... stop fucking with me, Herbal, or you're going to fucking be gone forever, too, man. I don't mind losing what? some subscribers to get some different ones. You want me to be fair with being you? messed with. You want the fucking truth? You want the truth? I see you're pausing, so maybe you do want the truth. The truth is, you create every bit of this fucking mess all on your own. You're the one who oh, gets no. online, goes no, live, don't. does this pity party bullshit for yourself day in and day out. Oh, you can change no shit up. Bullshit. It it's is what it is. Bullshit. You're over here moping the fuck yeah, around. Well, see, that's what you, that's what you want to say. Well, maybe you I won't be moping to too much. Maybe I won't be moping around too much longer. Yeah, take off. Everybody fucking take off. Everybody fucking take off. Oh, it's what everybody's done in the past. Why would I expect anything different now? Oh, I mean, what I say. As much as that dude is fucked with me, I wouldn't even have to do anything. Except stand there. I listened to a channel today that said channels that threaten stuff or whatever, or you get into people's personal stuff and uh, fuck with them. They shouldn't be allowed to have a channel. And you know who he was talking about? He was talking about Psycho Babble, as well as some others. And he is right. This whole. Y'all calling my family and then saying, I'm the one. No, 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 no. You don't have any right escalating things beyond the internet. I don't care if I come on here and say whatever to you, which I don't. And I wouldn't have. Uh, I may have assumed some things with Scoot, you know, and I've apologized to him, but, uh, but it don't matter. Any time that I've done something where I actually realize and see that I was wrong and sincerely apologize, it always gets brought up again sometime later on. All right, Herbal. You know how you want to feel, bro? That's how you want to do these things. Well, all I got to say to you is this. Don't ever ask to be unblocked again. Oh, you don't want to know what I'll do when I actually show up. Uh, uh, MC actually showed up. You don't want to know what I'll do. You don't want to know. I'm not going to be around probably as long as some people might get to be, so I'm not worried about things.
worried about these bullshit people who have been trying to get acceptance and whatever from they've done nothing but tear me down to the ground with glee while doing it. Tired of being labeled and called different mental health diagnoses than what I've been given. I'm tired being labeled a crackpot. No, it's not pre-recorded. I need to get out. I guess I just need to leave. I don't know. But I've never been good at being bullied and stuff younger. I'm being bullied older now and humiliated on a different level with lies, half truths, and misinformation. It just fucking. It, it just kills my mental sense of peace or image at all that I had. I'm only making mods that will agree to the mod rules that were in the last video. And I think I will make The rules are just don't undo anything I do. Somebody, no disrespect, no doxing, uh, no, you know, being ugly to another person in the chat or the host. First time is a timeout, second time is blocked. You dox or anything else, you're blocked. Uh, make sure to put like and subscribe every now and then and also share other people's channels sometimes, just not back to back to back, please. I used to get called a faggot all the time growing up. And I don't have anything against LGBTQT people. That's what made me mad the most. Is that people want to get like herbal tell me to forget it. No, no, I'm not going to forget it. When he's fucking up there trying to defend somebody from cyberbullying, supposedly, when he's fucking done it his damn self. It's fucking hypocritical. I'm going to call it out. I don't know what's on my mind. One of these days, I don't think I'm going to be here anymore. And I'm not saying that it's a suicide threat, so don't nobody take that out of context and use it to call the police. Fucking God, please don't. You think, you people think that uh, people that want to be so quick to call a fucking authority on somebody. Uh, 
Let me tell you, one of these guys, dads that I know was feeling suicidal. The authorities came out there and they shot him and killed him. What doesn't go against terms of service? Uh, yeah, calling somebody a faggot does, Jackie. I don't know what you're talking about. The terms of service and community guidelines. Terms of service is way different than the community guidelines. I'm not sick. And Jackie, if you're going to fucking disagree with everything I say or whatever and antagonize me, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't need you here. I'm not sure. Hey, little buddy. Oh, no, well. My life is not how it's being painted on line, and I hate it. I hate it. MC is a fucking piece of shit for what he's done. Tagging my old 14-year-old count over and over and over and calling me as much as he has. Don't fucking get me started on him. So fucking tired of you. You tried to fucking add my Facebook secretly. Just get out of here, D. Fuck. You tell me only I can change. It's hard to change shit when people are doing stuff constantly to you. Excuse me, I'm getting my medicine set up for tomorrow. I put everything I take in a day in one bottle. If you look at his account, just me, it's nothing but shit, you know, hinting at me or whatever. He talks in circles and shit. And he wanted to come up with this idea of a, a worky verse and they want to make merch and shit and they want to sell stuff with my face and stuff on it and my name. They start doing some shit like that. I, I promise you, uh, even that will rate even as much as my dad and I may not get along, that'll even raise his eyebrows and he loves me enough to where he will help me with that shit. And you guys may think I'm too poor enough to do anything with a lawyer or sue or anything for some of the stuff you're doing. You're wrong. Keep pushing it. And I promise you I won't be. So fucking tired of people just thinking they can do whatever. I, I, I got, I mean, people, you know, you wouldn't what you wouldn't want done to yourself. You should never do to others. And I would never, ever, ever make merch or think about making merch or shit off of someone else's misery or their personal life, their stuff they'd rather keep private, etc. 
That is just so lousy. It's just so sadistic almost to have, the, you know. Because, yeah, MC will show his face, but guarantee he won't tell us who he is or where he lives or nothing. But he don't mind tagging my full name from an account I made back when I was a fucking kid every day on his shorts. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, he's in here, but I've got him. He's got me blocked where I can't see him. So um, I guess I'm going to have to block him then. So I'll be fucking damned. I had to uh, get on my other account that I use as a mod that people don't block me on so they can come on like that. He was trying to ask Mia to mod him up and everything else. You know, like American Outlaw, yeah, it's my channel. I have the right to block people from it. And this whole blocking me so I can't block them shit is bullshit. And if any of my uh, mods undo what I did, they're going to be seen and they're going to be unmodded and I'll go down to zero mods. I don't have anything to say about Fusion. Fusion lied to me, made me call someone's probation officer for bullshit. Well, I don't know why Mia, why he asked me of that. Sorry, Mia, it made me suspicious of you. I'll give you your wrench back, but do not unhide Fusion. If you unhide him, then that'll be it. But I, I'm sorry, I just, uh, I didn't know that, Katana. So, thanks. But, no, I, I don't. I don't like that shit. People trying to control my stuff. They wouldn't like it if I did it to them. And I've never tried it to anybody. All I've told them is to ask them, please, not to make videos on me. I think that's a little different than trying to run someone's channel. They make videos on me because they have an incentive to do it. Because... That's just what they do, along with other stuff. 
and they're trying to build their watch hours. They want to build that ad revenue and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make videos on someone else unless something very out of ordinary calls for it. Yeah, I can see you, American Outlaw. Mia, I appreciate that. You're more than welcome. I understand. But, you know, we got 27 people in here and only six likes. We got a lot of people hanging out in the back. Y'all share that like and subscribe and share some other people's channels, please. And just, yeah, I'm upset. I'm upset because they've broken all their so-called rules about not bringing family in on internet stuff and everything else. And they've, they've taken and found who my family was and who I was married to, and they've put shit on the internet. Shit that they've said or either made up or gotten recordings of that isn't accurate completely and whatnot. You know. People don't care how upset I am or how much it affects me. They make fun of it because I'm not like them. They don't know that I wish I could be like them. But I can't. It's not going to change. never been evil or hurtful or violent. The only thing I can do is say things that hurt. But I don't like doing that. People don't get them. that I, I didn't want negative attention or any attention. I just wanted to build a channel about stuff like them and be a part of the community. That's all I wanted. And I was naive by not knowing about text now and giving my phone number out. And somehow they found that account that was 15 years old. And I uploaded those videos of me dancing as a child. And MC tags them every day. 
he's given a piece to a possible criminal that wants to steal my identity and he doesn't give a shit you know he doesn't give a shit at all that's why I call him a goat fucker that's why he looks like one because he's a piece of shit Fucking piece of fucking shit. He acts like he's all enlightened and all this and that. Blah blah. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. He's not enlightened. The least bit. My old channel was my full name, Jackie, and Katana, when I came in here on YouTube, I kept my Facebook private. My YouTube did not have anything exposing me, but through interacting with some people with giving them my number and stuff, yeah, I, I was a little not up to date on internet safety and stuff. But the fact, it, it yeah. But the fact that people still took that instead of doing the right thing and saying, whoa, we don't need to share this around. They kept sharing it and sharing it and sharing it. Oh, we didn't take in the fourth grade class on Internet Safety Herbal because, hell, the Internet was still so new that MSN Messenger hadn't came out yet. Dumbass. My IG is only my YouTube channel. Doesn't have my name at all. My person, I don't have a personal IG. I only have a YouTube IG. Yeah, it's linked to my YouTube channel, but it's not, it doesn't reveal anything of mine. Hello? So I don't know what, yeah, hello. Hey. Yeah, buddy, that's how I need to think. Hey, how are you doing? Square. Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, really? I'm stupid, huh, Herbal? You just suck my dick, dude. How can I see the chat? You have to go over down to uh, comments and uh, away from private chat. Well, kid natural fell off. Fuck you, herbal. You can suck my dick, dude. You can suck my motherfucking dick. You're gonna call me a fucking idiot? Life's hard when you're stupid. How about life's just hard for me, you fucking prick? Can't even show any respect at all.
Yeah, she must have accidentally hit a button with guitar fingers. Yeah, well, Herbal's the one that can never be respectful. He wonders why he gets blocked. I'm going to unblock him once, once, and give him one other chance. So you got your other chance, Herbal. You're unblocked. Your observer is. Oh, uh, what's T saying since I can't see it? Emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. sorry about that guys i really am i just needed to click on something real quick because i by god was not going to let mc in here oh i'm a narcissist herbal now you definitely that's it you're gone Narcissist. You, you, I didn't know you were a doctor, Arbel. What are you talking about? If someone sees that and it comes back on you, and they might take it seriously. What are you talking about? That's that's just a that's nothing. It's just a it's just something from a movie. Doesn't mean anything. I played it to get attention off the fact that I was coming in there to take off MC. Hold on, buddy. I'll go back up. You ain't got to say it again. You're right, dude. I, I, I know, man. You're right. And I'm going to give you a mod, man, because I think we use it the way I ask my mods to respect my rules and decisions on who I let in here, okay? Dude, you're acting like the narcissist now, making it about you. 
Okay, of course this is about me. That doesn't mean I'm a narcissist. I'd like to move on. So, yeah, you're going to be really gone. Because I'll find out the next time somebody unhides you. Stop fucking unhiding him. Unless he's just got multiple, multiple accounts, which he may do. And in that case, ignore me when I say don't unhide him. Because I don't think anybody is. Usually it tells it if, if it happens. I had to block MC, you know, he doxes me every damn day. And then people want to lecture me on doxing. I'm not cool with doxing. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate your opinion, media. Uh, Mia, thank you. Excuse me. Don't worry. MC is the only person I actually invited, and we all know he's not going to show up anyways. And if he did show up, that would just be stupid. So, I understand. There's no need for anyone else to explain that. I'm tired of people fucking around with me and me not standing up for myself because I'm not the type to do it. I'd love for you to come up, buddy. I, I need somebody to come up to do co-host. Or we'll come up here if you might apologize. Like I ain't down with that narcissist shit. I, I do not like being called that. I've even went out my way to ask somebody to uh, to uh, I've had a psychiatrist talk to me and you know just check to see if I was narcissistic specifically because I've been Every time somebody gets into it with me or doesn't like me, they like to bring that up. Okay, you got extra accounts, or big fucking boy. You want to come up, you want to come up, but dude, you're going to stop with the name calling and shit, or you're going to keep making accounts and I'm going to keep blocking them. We can do that all night if you want to. Hey, what's up, Square? Nope, man. I'm tired of this shit. Can you hear me, bro? I'm tired of this shit, man. They just won't fucking stop. They don't fucking get it. And they fucking want to make it seem like it's all of me or all in my head, like I'm crazy. Bro, like I said in the comments, man, everything that's already been said about you has already been said about you, man. And, and it's lies. Use none of that 90% of more. it. 90% of it is a lie. Okay. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Uh, like, I do. They can't use that against you no more. Flander. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be careful who you let in your circle, bro. You, you let too many people in and you trust way too easy. You're always yeah, trusting people and then they always end up laughing behind your back. I do. That's what they did. They had. That's what they did. They gave out my home number and cell number. That's how people found my family and stuff. Hell, they even called my family out in California, man. I know, bro. I've been doxxed. Fucking everybody's been doxxed lately, and it's just fucking. You know, it, it's sad. Bro. Oh, it's but if you oh, but, but 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 then they'll turn around the people that dox you and will criticize you if you you know. Happen to let a name slip or whatever, accidentally docs, or even if you were to purposefully dox, they criticize you. Dude, I know the name of the game, man. I've been blamed for other people doxing people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been blamed because of who I'm associated with. You know, the little motherfuckers catch a lot of heat. You know what I'm saying? And we got to keep I mean, it. I tried. I tried to mediate that shit. And Rick and everybody else did. said I did it's a good job. We appreciate that shit, man. I, I, you letting us up on the panel. You did a really good job. Everybody said, 
Ask everybody. You did a hell of a job that night. But people forget about this shit as soon as somebody releases some new bullshit or whatever. Yeah, but look, I, dude, you hold more people in your fucking rooms than most anybody else. There's yeah. a reason for that shit, man. You well, most fucking... of them don't. A lot of them don't talk. <laughs> yeah, who cares? You know what do? I mean? They're still there. As long as they show up, who cares what they're there for? Yeah, I guess. You, you know see, that? that's not really the end. That's not the intention. I came on YouTube. I didn't come on to get a bunch of attention. I hate when people call me like a narcissist and stuff. It gets under my skin. Well, bro, I'm going to be honest with you, man. And, and I've seen it. I've, I've seen it whenever you've been in other chat rooms or in other people's like lives and in the chat and stuff. You do have a tendency of like turning things in the chat and kind of trying to make it about you. And I'm not trying to be a dick to you right now. I'm just being real with you. And and that kind of stuff. That may have, that, that may have seemed like that, but I, that's not what I was really trying to do. But yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't it's, do that. Anymore. It's not. It's never anybody's intention to do that. It's just something that happened. It, like nobody sets out to do that. You know what I mean? But it, yeah. it's just a flaw. I really thing. didn't. I, I do. I know. That's what I'm saying, man. It, it, but you. You just got to kind of, you got to think before your actions, dude. You got to, you got to think before you let people into your circle. You got to think before you say shit. You got to think, you know, you, me, a lot of us out here have mental issues, man. I'm on medication, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we all got shit going on. You can't let people hold that shit against you. When it's something that you can't control. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. Some, some and some. Kenny, yeah, but not when other people put out. Uh, well. Whoa. Will you, will you say it again, please, buddy? I, I, I did listen. It's just that I don't know if I really got it or didn't. I'm just saying, bro, We a lot of us out here have mental issues and on medication and, you know, things like that. You know, you whenever people are 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 talking about you and shit, you need to embrace it and fucking not let them use it against you. If you embrace it, you take the power away. Yeah. Look at Twelve well, you, uh, Last Live when he's talking about how he called Johnny Gobble a retard. And then Johnny Gobble fucking embraced it. And fucking 12 Point couldn't use it against him no more because he embraced it. And really, we ain't get yeah. down to it, man. It's just words, bro. It's just words. Yeah, it is. Words from people fucking thousands of miles away really that painful? Uh, A lot of words, yeah. Yeah, words can't hurt. That's one of the most inaccurate statements that words can't hurt. Hey, uh, They they can, bro. They can hurt, but... But you can't. I, you do, you do me a favor. You on a just level. a second. Yeah, just a second. What's up, Harley? My sister. What's happening? Harley motherfucking hooting. I'm 
American Outlaw TV, I know, man. I know so many people have tried this. I don't know if y'all can hear me right now, if he's got me muted or not, but. Yeah, shout out Wacky Jack. Videos. I wasn't going to let that under that guy that put up my underage videos and channel that uh, what's his name docs is all the time stay in here. But dude, like I said before, man, everybody is already. Sick. No, you didn't run me off, Harley. How are you doing? Sorry, go ahead, buddy. If you were talking to him, go ahead. Yeah, like like I was telling you before, everybody's already seen it. It's been played on No Life Mike. It's been played on fucking Iceman. It's been played everywhere, bro. So what? The the fucking video of you dancing and shit. So, oh well, that's great. So who cares though, bro? That's something that you did fucking years ago. Yeah, as a, as a minor. That's not who you are now. Patrick, man. These motherfuckers, man. Just, yeah, they don't care. Hello, Miss Hooten. How are you doing? Miss Hooten is a real one now. That's part of the family. Um. But yeah, man, I'm not going to take up a whole bunch of your time, bro. I just wanted to tell you, man. No, you're not taking up any of my time. I appreciate you coming by. It's just, uh, you know, some of these people, you know, MC Fusion, they really took it far, uh, pretty far, you know. And they ain't, that ain't, uh, that ain't disputed. Other people have said it. You got the text and messages and audios to prove it. I ain't trying to release all that stuff because then people get they even get mad at me about that. You know, that they talk about, oh, we'll show the receipt, and then people get mad when you show actual receipts or whatever. So, but when people get get mad, I mean, and I know it sucks because you want friends. I know you want friends on here, but you know, what type of friend do you want? You know what I'm saying? You're uh, I wasn't crying over and over about my dog, about my friend that had died, so you can get up out of here, Martin W. Sorry, what were you saying, sir? I said, you know, I know you want friends on here and everything, but what type of friends do you want? You know, if, if you keep trying, I don't want these type of people, bro. If you want, if you want, <sighs> shit, you made me lose my train of thought, bro. Sorry. Uh, um, that's what I mean, Harley. That's what they do uh, over and over and over. They do stuff like that and say stuff like that, and they wonder why I break down or have his nervous breakdowns on here. Well, that 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 was it, man. That was my point. Is that you know I know you want friends on here, but if if these people keep doing things to you over and over again, are, are they really your friend? Are they really no. someone that you want to try to be friends with? Because they're, 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 they're just, listen, listen, they're just I've playing with me. I, exactly, and I've seen you. I've seen you be cool with people, and then I've seen you fight with people, and then a, a week later, you're cool with them again. Man, you gotta learn to like write people off and let, and keep on moving, bro. Keep on moving. Leave them fucking people in the past. Otherwise, yeah. they're gonna keep on with you and on with you and on with you. Yeah. You know, it, it, and like I said, I don't do panels no more, man. I've, I've maybe been on six panels the whole time I've been on YouTube. But I had to come up here yeah, because, dude, I'm it. tired of, I'm, 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 I'm sick and tired of seeing you get fucking all upset and shit over what people are doing to you. Because you... It, I don't think it's right, man. I, I feel for you, and I don't think it's right for to have people constantly fucking with you and fucking with you all the time. That's what I'm saying. You got to be fucking better about who you bring into your circle and and stop trusting people, man. Stop trusting people. The reason all your shit's out there is because you trusted the wrong people with your information 
I know that they've done digging and got your information, but it had to start from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I know. So uh, you you just got to be careful. Yeah, they like, went digging. YouTube, really, bro. They dug really deep. Yeah. Well, I didn't know anything about the whole this is YouTube thing and people. Yeah, thank you, Harley. You're right. Yeah, I mean, this is you. And what they, what they, little, what man. they did, how, how they used me uh, against Iceman was fucked up, you know. Um, and then they used yeah, me man, as, you just, like, just like, just like, I don't get a lot just of like, guys, just man. like, just, just like Triple T and Laurie said they used me for their dirty work. Now they use me for fodder. That's exactly what they did. They told me there was a little girl over there and he was talking. The way he talks and I took that shit very fucking serious otherwise I would have never done that and uh, I, I, I made it right with Iceman and everything you know and, yeah but then you trusted Iceman and Filthy and they they it, it seemed like they had good intentions I don't I don't know whether they did or not but they ended up turning on you did they not what I said, Iceman and Filthy Animal, they had, they seemed like they had good intentions and they talked to you and talked to you and, and, and tried to get you on the right path. And then next thing you know, they're, they end up turning on you. Uh, it just seems like a lot of people end up turning Ice on Man, you. Iceman, I don't know if Iceman has. I mean, I, I haven't said anything about Iceman or anything. Filthy didn't like because I, uh, made that thing the other day about Scooter, but I mean, I wouldn't have made it like Scooter was trying to get me to come on here and not talk about negative for seven days, right? Well, as soon as I get home, man, the first thing I see is another person talking about me, and he says he's got something in the works, and I knew he was talking about a video, and I just snapped, man. I just fucking I snapped. I'm not making an excuse. I did it, but I snapped. And maybe I did assume to a degree, but I wasn't completely wrong because, hell, less than 12, 24 hours later, shit, he released another, and now he's released even another, you know. But, I mean, you got to realize that these fucking videos and shit that are being put out with, about you, they're, what they're actually doing is promoting you. Yeah, they did. They did. And then Iceman and them told me to, to call, you know, this work number and uh, and prank it and I did and that was childish and wrong yeah, and I, up, I, I, I that's shouldn't that's have done that either so I I, I apologize, I mean, you apologize for it? and uh, if people I'll accept apologize your apology, again then good. If, if you not, don't accept it right. I, under, I understand but I I mainly apologize myself because I was disappointed that I did that but it's easy for people to get me to do stuff it has been at least it's not been the first time. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to be your own man. You can't. You can't. I don't. I don't smoke. I don't smoke that much. You know, it's expensive, and I have where, to really where, stretch where, out I, what I, I smoke. I know you get distracted and stuff with the chat and stuff, but you got to pay attention, bro. Pay attention. Yeah. Well, I was talking to Harley. Sorry. Go ahead. You got to be your own man. You can't let other people influence you. You you end up doing what other people say and you follow along because you want them to like you. You want them to be your friend. And I get that. But you still got to be your own man. You got to make up your decision. I mean, when when you called that phone number to, to prank somebody, that was your decision. Yeah. That was your choice. Yeah. It it was yeah. It doesn't matter who influenced you. That was still your choice. You're right. So yeah, man. I'm just I, I'm just saying, man. You can't let people use your addiction against you. You can't let people use you know any of that shit, man. We've all had a past, all of us. So. Who gives a shit? The shit was in the past. You got to think about what you're going to do tomorrow, bro. You got to yeah. think about 
what you're going to do to change your life. You got to think about what's going to be a better life for you. What's what's going to get you out of that bed and get you out in the world and, and do things outside of YouTube. You can still do YouTube. Oh, I do. I, I do stuff all the time, man. Today, uh, did a bunch of stuff outside and next door. And man, it was a long day. That's why I'm up right now because uh, I went to bed so early from working my butt off. Took a shower That's yesterday good, and then got up. Yeah. Getting that fucking. I did a lot of stuff D. today. Getting that vitamin D from the sun. That's good for your soul, bro. Man, yeah, it got it, it, it got cool here all of a sudden, actually. It just started getting cool. Well, lucky for you, I'm about to get hit by a fucking hurricane. Hurricane Square, actually. I mean, that's a joke. It's Hurricane Ian. Yeah, I know. I heard about that. But, yeah, man, you got it. I mean, you, one thing you got to think about, too, and I don't want – I hope they already, they already got the content from people that have leaked my stuff on Facebook, photos, a bunch of old videos, all types of stuff. Anyways, go ahead, buddy. Sorry. One thing that you got to think about, and I don't mean to bring up a touchy subject or anything, man, but – I can 100% relate to you with this, but you got to think, you know, you're, you're staying with your grandfather, right? What? No, yeah. I've, I've been, I've been home. I've been back home now for about two years. Yeah. Because my grandmother died and he lost that income. Plus, uh, he had to move, and then we uh, just recently moved again. He, he was already needing to move, actually. So, like, where we had moved at first wasn't the best place anyways, financially speaking, for him, and he uh, knew that. So, yeah, okay. he – yeah, so, like, that. that's why, no, number one, he's the one that raised me, and number two, uh, because I'm not going to – you know, everybody else would just leave him alone and – he might make it pretty good on his own, but, you know, he's getting older every day. And so I want to be here if something happens or he needs me. The point is, though, is can you make it on your own? Yeah, that's exactly what i am already been working on here the past two years since I came back from uh, treatment. I've been trying getting that set up more and more. Yeah, I was working and stuff. I, I, just, I just, I just, I just recently started to not work. So you know, I've only been out of work for a little bit. So it's not that I don't have a work ethic or anything. I have had a work ethic. Well, no, I get it, bro. I get it. it, it you know, my sister, she's on disability for her mental issues. But the thing is, is, is that you know, I don't know. I don't necessarily think or no, I want disability. I really don't. I'd rather try to use these uh, resources I have that uh, from the state and try to maybe go back into phlebotomy or, you know, just something small to where I'd get by on my own for myself. But, uh, you know, there's just a few challenges around that. So we'll see, though. It's We're supposed to be talking about it soon. I don't know. I what thought I heard that. You, end I, of this. I thought I I'm not going to do. I, I was thinking of barber school a long time ago. I'm not doing that, though. Uh, it's not not a good job bracket. Why not? So, I mean, Why it, 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 a good job. I know a barber I mean, that kills it. I know a barber that makes a shit ton of money. I mean, that was an option. It's that or one other thing. You know, I've, I've been in between about. I mean, the point is, though, okay, you just stopped working recently. And and I know that you're trying, bro. You're trying to to get things worked out, but I'm just I'm trying to get us a local job, right, bro, no doubt, bro. that I can walk to right now. Just saying. Um, but just you, just letting you know. That's all. All right. Well, what what you got to think about is what if something happened to your grandfather tomorrow? Yeah, I would. Have, well, if, if something like that happened. Uh, I'd have to deal with whatever the reality of the situation is. So. And how I can relate to this, because I and, and I'm telling you, I know exactly all about it, because my sister, she's, she's, and not saying that you're a drug addict, but my sister's a drug addict, 
and and my mother supports her. Uh, no, Ghost of Shadows, that's not true at all. The only reputation I have that's bad is with these police officers because I've called them bro, out for their bullshit. Bro, bro, listen to me. I'm, talking I'm sorry. To you. I'm, I'm sorry. Shit about my life. I, I know you're talking to you. I'm listening to you, dude, but I couldn't help seeing his little bitch ass comment. I know, bro, but I'm telling you like real shit about my life. Like, listen. Um, my sister, she's she's a drug addict. My mom is supporting her. If something happens to my mom, she's fucked. You know, she has no resource. Yeah. She she applied for Section Eight, but it, you know how long it takes to get on fucking Section Eight housing. A lot. I'm not gonna support her. I got my own family to worry about. That's all I'm saying, bro. If something happened to your grandfather tomorrow, you got to be set up to where you're going to be able to make it. Oh, trust. Yeah, we, me and not only some other people that care about, we already are on top of that stuff. I don't need people worrying. No offense, not talking about you, but a lot of people have talked about that shit. Like they try to think that they know more than what we actually know and have been working on. They don't. No disrespect to you or nothing. No, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good that you're working on things because, like I said, now is the time. So, you, you know, tomorrow's too late, bro. Tomorrow's way too late. So it has to be now, today. You got to work on shit right now. But the same way that you got to work on getting your life together and getting getting the resources to be able to take care of yourself uh, in case something happens to your grandfather, you got to use those same ethics on fucking YouTube and and just become a man, bro. Like, I don't mean to dig at you or, or, or be negative towards you, but you got to grow up and be a man, bro. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect at all. Trust me. I don't mean yeah, any disrespect. Well, like I said, I've been, a little bit like it. I've been seeing this shit in the community and it, it, and it pisses me off to see fucking... People using and abusing you all the time, but it all fucking it it all comes back to looking within yourself, bro. You gotta look in yourself and be like, okay, well, what can I do different? What can I do different to not let these people get to me? What can I do different to grow my channel? What can I do different to to um, make my channel what it wants, what I want it to be? That's what I'll be. Um... That's why we're going to try to start back with this recovery stuff, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry about that hurricane, if it's near you. Yeah, that motherfucker's heading straight to my house, basically. Yeah, that's me, too. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I just, like I said, man, I've been... They named, they named it after me. I know, bro. You're fucking tearing shit up in Florida. But yeah, man. I'm. Like well, said, thanks I'm for your gonna, time. I'm about to <laughs> here, bro. Like I said, man, you can't. I hope that anything I said will help you a little bit. You know, it I, has. You see me around the community. Anytime you want to fucking chat with me in any chats, I'm not real big about giving out my information or anything like that. But if you see me around well, chats or tell, anything, and you want to chop it up just, with me, if you if you see King of the Kill, tell him to come out where he's been hiding yeah man he was just he was just in uh i mean it's been a couple of days i know that he's got some shit going on he said he was going to be out for a little while but oh okay. um, he'll he'll be around though he's a good right. dude man he's good people man he's another good one to listen to yeah i like him yeah, but keep up with your shit bro like i said man keep trying don't let people get to you fucking don't trust people that's fucking you, you gotta you gotta let people build trust before you trust them yeah that, that's, I hear that's you. it bro that's it man like I said I'm tired of seeing you get walked over I'm tired of seeing all that shit I wanna see you do good dude I wanna see you do good Rick and Moses they're fucking great people they wanna see you do good they shout you yeah, out I know. all the time they love you I I talked to Rick. Yeah, Rick is awesome, man. And, and and take their advice. They're not bullshitting with you. They're good fucking people. 
So, uh, you know, I know a lot of people is giving you advice. You just got to take it, bro. You got to take it and, 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 and well, so not it. all the advice is. No, it's equal, not. No, if you're that right. makes sense. You're, you're right. A hundred percent. Not all the advice that you get is, is good advice. A lot of people troll you like Free that. Free equal, I mean. But you got to take advice from people that you trust and you got to let people yeah. build that trust. You're right. But anyway, man. All right. I'm going to fucking get off of here, but I just want to pop But up thank you, man, for coming by. Thank you for your words, and you have a great time. And, man, be safe. I'm praying for you, buddy. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Take care. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, give a round of applause for buddy, little motherfucking buddy. Who has earned the honorary wrench of the evening award. Which might be something I do every now and then. I don't know. As long as I can find his name. Oh, yeah. He's already got a wrench. Well, never mind. Be careful, buddy. We're praying for you. Be careful. Hurricane party. I've never been to one of them. I got I got a dog I've been dealing with shit. Who's uh he's had to deal with some fleas because we got his flea, flea pill a couple days late, but he took that one pill and boy, say it got rid of all my fleas in a quick time, didn't it? Yeah, sure it did. Yeah, I'm a good boy. Well, I guess Harley, that makes you the winner. <sighs> Miss my mom a lot. People are lucky to have their mothers. Hope they realize how lucky they are and treat their mothers right. And give anything to have just one day with my mom. No, I didn't give Brownie fleas. He went outside and his medicine uh, wore out and he became flea attractable. He attracted some fleas, but we got rid of him, didn't we, Brownie? Say no more scratchy. No more little bitty black things eating at your skin through your hair. No more fleas, Bubba. No fleas, no ticks, none of that. Oh, thanks, Harley. I didn't know that. But um, this pill I gave him, these things are a chewable tablet, and it keeps fleas and ticks completely off of him and his skin because it goes through the bloodstream and into the skin. And I don't know, it just works that way. It works for a whole month. I already shit shower and shaved this morning. Yeah, Brownie hates him too. But he ain't dealing with him no more. Now all he's got to worry about, well, nope, the mosquitoes are going away because it's getting cold. You ain't got nothing else to worry about now, Brownie. No mosquitoes, no fleas, no ticks. You ain't got nothing else to worry about. Do you, Bubba? Do you, Bubba? You such a good boy. You know Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. You such a good boy. Tell everybody that you got your training set up for tomorrow. 
Hey, I got my training set up for tomorrow. Yes, I do. Such a good boy. He helped me a lot this weekend. Whenever I got upset over the weekend, he uh he jumped on top of my lap and was pressing his feet down on my chest. Was doing his pra- his exercises. He uh came up to me and uh you know pressed his body on me and just laid right on me. You know, whenever I was not feeling good, like he's a he's a good intuitive dog. Like he knows whenever I'm okay or not okay or whatever, he's a good dog. And say so he gets the best food he can eat. Plus every now and then a little extra from the kitchen. Yesterday he was uh I don't I used to like pepperoni pizza. I ate one slice of it, but the other slice, I wanted a regular cheese, so I took the pepperoni off of it, and I gave it to Brownie. Boy, he tore that pepperoni up. He loved it. Oh, wow, molesting my dog. That is so sick to even think or suggest that. What kind of minds do y'all have, for real? What kind of mind do you have? This dog is my emotional service animal on fucking Dr. Paper. Mr. Fusion made fun of that, too, with his... Uh, cats, calling them emotional support cats. I guess there could be such a thing, but I doubt he actually has those cats as his emotional support cats. Him, you know, that's just, that's just stupid. Like, why you would even do that? Little motherfucker Robbie, hell yeah, bro. Hope you're doing all right, man. Yeah, my grand great grandpas were all vets, uh, Harley. I'm glad you understand, like, you know, all these people that are talking about like I, I don't know. I mean I've heard all the stuff, but I just wanna say like you know, but just because someone has said in the past or whatever, uh, anything, even if it was offensive or bad or hurtful or wrong, they shouldn't keep having it thrown up and up and up and up and up and up, and up in their face. And I've had some people do that to me, and it's just bullshit. If people don't understand, like, what our uh, grandparents and great-grandparents did and uh, sacrificed so we could have the, uh, the world that we have today right now, and people forget about it, but it's, you know, it's right around the corner if we're not careful. Oh, my God. The fuck, dude? What do you want? Bob is a real emotional support cat. How dare you? Great. Have a great night. How dare I? You've said a lot worse, so how dare I? Fuck you. You're a damn 
uh, homophobic ableist. So how dare I that? Stupid ass, dude. Well, that's probably true. Oh, you do, Jackie? That's awesome. Wow. Wow. Why do you want to come back up? Why do you want to come back up? I wasn't even to say anything back. What do you well, uh, what, you going to apologize? Apologize for what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's no need to bring you back up. I might as well ban you, buddy. I'm just talking to you, swear. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not talking to me. You're saying anything. I gave you an out. Why didn't you just take it? I gave you an out. Yeah, I'm going to leave all this shit up. I'm going to insult you and do all this and that. And then I'm going to tell you, just leave my name out your mouth. And you either abide or feel my wrath. Yeah, you I gave me say, such a great out. Shut the I fuck didn't say, up. I didn't say feel my wrath. I just said, stop talking about me and I won't make any more videos. And you couldn't do that. Correct or incorrect? That's not the point. You called me names and, and everything else and made me think you were in my hometown. You cyber stalked me, harassed me. Dude, what you, you called, say you, does you not matter. So just, too. What? You called MC the F word too, dude. You can't sit there and say that. What does that? Say. No, I did not. No, yes, I you did. did. Not. No, do I, I need did not. Do I need to find a video and post it? Really? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you this. If I did, it was because y'all had already called me it. And in the moment, I was wrong. So I'll apologize. Are you going to apologize? For what? Exactly. Goodbye. And don't think you're going to hang out in my studio. Bye-bye. Means he's against. He thinks it's all right to. Uh, he's a, like he doesn't have any sympathy or nothing towards disabled people. Don't think you should, and he doesn't think that um, that even though the community service says you're not supposed to harass or do anything like that to people that are disabled, whatever have you, he's going to decide to do it anyways and say fuck it. So that's what I said. That's why I said that. Because he, like, he tried to say that because I haven't proved it. Motherfucker, I'm not going to show you my private medical records unless I redact them. And I haven't got them yet. And I don't move when you tell me to move. So how about I just wait and let you do all the bullshit you might continue to do. And then once I prove you wrong, then you look like an even bigger dumbass. Maybe that's why I haven't done it yet. Oh, trust me, I can prove it. I can prove everything I've said. Guarantee it. I bet my life on it. Well, I'm done letting them over and over. I'm done talking about you, Fusion. You better leave me alone, dude. Like I said, let them people move on. Like Stoner said, I'm going to say it. Exactly. I'm not taking your shit anymore, dudes. Just leave me alone. Appreciate you, little motherfucker. Stop trying to uh, always turn it around and escape responsibility. I'm the type where I take responsibility and apologize. You don't. Unless people got something on you. Everybody have a great night. Peace and blessings. I gotta go and watch some personal stuff and uh, take some time to myself. I hope you all understand. Thank you, buddy, for being here tonight. Thank you heartily.
Thank you to all the new mods. Please read over the rules carefully if you need to. In the last live video, they're posted there. And everyone take care and have a great rest of their night. Peace. Blessings. Shalom.